Hi, and welcome to A Punk With Toys. My name is Lawrence, and today we're going to take a look at the G.I. Joe Classified Retro Recondo. Yes, these have just started to ship through BBTS, but Sergeant Red's got these in this one and Duke. So, going to do a review on them, drop it, and then you guys can decide whether or not it's something that you want. So, if you've already seen the Duke one, then you kind of already know some of the things we'll go over, but the card is much better. They have resolved that issue. This is how it always should have been. The blister is trapped inside. So if you keep the card like I do, you're gonna take a razor blade and just cut across it so it can lay flat. But anyway, we have a, a new painting or picture drawing of the original card art. It is different and you can see everything. Now I'm not a big fan of how big everything is. They really didn't need to show everything, but hey, it is what it is. I'm going to open it up. So there you go. You got the explosion in the back. You got Rakondo actually holding the weapon. And then on the back here, we have the file card with the five language. Again, this is an issue with Hasbro. It's not the G.I. Joe team. There's nothing they can do about it. Not Emily, not Lenny, not Tony, no one. Transformers has the same issue. Star Wars, Marvel Legends, so... We're just going to have to deal with it and then the cross sell. But as I mentioned on the Duke, what they really should have done is put the file card on the bottom and then done an actual cross sell. Show Destro, Roadblock, Cobra Commander, uh, Lady J. They should have thrown all of them on and made it look more like the original. We didn't need to have three. We don't need to know exactly, you know, what the wave is now. It's all part of the, rec the retro card wave and they should have done that. So, but anyway, ah. It's just me in a little nitpick again. Doesn't matter. I'm opening it up. So there we go. Wait, I'm holding something. Like, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Okay. I'm losing it. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's stop looking at me. Let's get a look at this figure. Because I know you guys are really anxious to see how it compares to the O ring. So anyway. But before we do, if you like this type of content, if you like me be acting like an idiot at times, take a second, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a G.I. Joe video, which again, lots of G.I. Joe stuff coming. Lots of G.I. Joe stuff. All right, so I got them out of the package. If you want to know how I get out and keep the card, then you can go watch the Duke one, which will be at the end of this review. You can just click on it. Uh, so this is... You get everything that you get with the original. The only thing that, uh, well, with the, I'm sorry, the Tiger Force or Kondo. So the only thing that you get is the stand. Now, if you've been watching this channel, you know I don't care for stands. This is a decent stand. It doesn't take up a lot of space. Uh, Lenny said, it, you know, it sits in the middle. You have the G.I. Joe symbol. I will never use it because I stand my figures. I don't like them. They don't look good. End of story. All right. So what we have is his backpack. Again, the same as the Tiger Force. The, um, keeping his roll up here and painting it, or his bed roll, just makes it look 10 times better. Just that little bit of paint app adds so much. Now, it is different than his original backpack. We might as well compare it while we have it out. So the original backpack has a handle. Um, do not put his hand on it because you will probably snap that thing off. But looking at this here, he has a canteen on it. It uh, packs the same. He does have a bedroll. The only difference is he has a handle on this one. So if you were to chop off the top here and make it just a little bit bigger, that's exactly what you have. So they did a nice job recreating it. You got pouches on the side. Again, this is just really nice. And this bedroll and having, it, was, it wasn't like paying the whole top, leaving the straps green. It, it really does set it off. And yeah, some people could say, oh, they could paint the canteen, but you're only going to get so much, but I think they did a really nice job. Here we have his knife. I don't believe this is a machete. I believe it's smaller than a machete. Uh, if it is, please tell me or let me know what kind of knife it is. Now, I think this knife actually looks good. Unfortunately, it is soft and flimsy, so you have to get it straight. But it's not super thick like some of the other ones. And just having the silver, uh, the silver blade and then, you know, green handle just makes it it just adds to it. It makes it look nicer. Then we have his little pistol. Now, I had a question on how small the pistol is. And there were a few people on the last Rakondo that said, no, that's actually correct. Uh, a lot of times when you do hunting for sport like this, 
you would have it well he's not hunting for sport but that's kind of the feeling you get you would have a small firearm a small pistol uh that you could use it's really compact obviously that's what small is so i do think this one looks nice it fits in just really good then we have his gun uh and it's this one was the same one it kind of warps in and warps out uh, it eventually does shoot straight but looking at the original compared to this one i love the fact that they put the tape around it i believe this is just duct tape that they put around it and it's made so and i found this out after this people explained to it um, they would tape the m16s and stuff like that so when it brushes up against uh, trees it makes a different sound so that's what you're actually getting now if i'm incorrect on that then please correct me but it is very similar now you can see this one actually has a bipod that's supposed to be on it this one does not you do have a removable magazine but all in all it is a nice looking weapon you can see the stock is supposed to be collapsible unfortunately it is a soft rubbery weapon now you can get it to stay in a specific spot as you can see i have my tiger force one right there but it's just too bad it's, it's very disappointing that we have that issue and then we have his hat which does stay on pretty well it is soft and pliable and we can compare it to the original and you can see that the little strap that goes around the top is there on the o-ring so they did a real good job i'm glad that they gave it some paint they did the same thing with this one you can see where it at, where it's at but because it's dark it just makes it harder to blend hard to see where this really stands out and just makes it look better so now let's take a look at our recondo let's raise this up just a bit so you can see him he stands real nicely i think this is a really good figure the buck is really nice I love the uh, the side piece, uh, the side piece. I love the holster, and this is actually meant so it's going to look like it's holding the backpack on. I know it drove people nuts that Bazooka has a floating backpack, but I, listen, it's a GI Joe. So quickly, I notice he's a little wobbly, and oops. I, I mean, he. Uh, I mean, he's just, he's wobbly. I'm going to grab my custom snow job that's on the same buck. And no, so something in the mold. Maybe it's just this one. Not that big of a deal. I mean, they do lock. So it has, so you see that there? It's going to lock into place anyway, because it kind of ratchets. So look at the articulation. He can look down that much, look up. Head does not move back and forth. Oh, I guess it does a little bit there. T-pose. You got your bicep swivel. You got your double pinless joints, elbows. Obviously the abs. He can twist back and forth. That's been an issue with a lot of figures. Not just G.I. Joe, but a lot of other figures too. Jean-Claude Van Damme, drop-down hips. Still not a big fan of it. Pinless uh, double knee joints. This guy feels really nice and solid. I can say that right now. Here, Roman, he wants to go outside. He's about to bark. <laughs> but, yes. Do you need to go outside? <coughs> Hold on. You guys are going to get to hear it live, people who don't watch Monday Night Toy Ramblings, which I don't know why you're not. Olivia, please let Roman out. Are you doing a video? See, I leave stuff in because, you know. All right. So there you go. So now let's take a look at this figure. Let's load him up quickly so we can compare him to the O-ring. Look at his detail. So there you have his nice compass. So his belt looks really good. It's a different skirt. So you can take the skirt off and put a regular belt on him if you want. That's actually what I did with this snow job. 
All right. If you're wondering what this is, I thought the snow job head was too good. So I bought a Tiger Force Rakondo, stripped off the Tigers, bought a gridiron loadout, the jungle loadout. And then we have a custom snow job using this entire buck. So anyway, get your camouflage. I, I, I just love the holster and how it all fits together. Has his watch, it's painted silver. Got the handlebar mustache. Eyes look good. Hair is always nice and slick. I think this looks really nice. So I'm gonna throw this on, and then we can compare them to the original and see how much they actually compare. So we already kind of looked at the head or at the hat. Uh, as you can see, this is my original. Uh, o-ring from when I was a child so the mustache has seen better days but it's still there not as thick and dark he's got the sidearm right here now they gave you a green one rather than a black one but that was just because that was what they were printing all this stuff in but the straps pretty much follow the way they're supposed to he's got the collared shirt now there he has his symbol so it looks like that's pretty much the same. Mine is a little worn off, so I can't tell you if it's the exact same. But it definitely looks pretty pretty similar. He's got the rolled up sleeves. He's got the watch on both. The camouflage, as you can look at, is pretty close. Both have pouches right here on the leg. And on the side, he has a probably a bigger knife than what a lot of the O-rings seem to have. But they gave him a much bigger knife along with a nice... Uh, sheath that wraps around his leg and he has black boots which actually they both do but his have some brown in it these are pushed up a little bit more where these are actually rolled down almost like it's tight rolled like in the 1980s but but all in all it's a good recreation of it I can't really complain too much I Rakonda was always one of my favorite figures and I think they did a wonderful job with the Tiger Force I think they did an even better job just looking at him. Maybe the hat should have been more olive green. That might be one complaint that I have. I mean, it does match everything else, but maybe it should have been more olive green. So, gridiron. There it is. That is that is your your challenge. Make it Better olive green hat for Ripcord. Ripcord. He's not Ripcord. Or Kondo. I know. Someone will call me out. Probably be that that Dreadnought Ryan. That guy's a nuisance. Always calling people out for making mistakes. <laughs> All right. So quickly. I always like to show you how quickly it takes to actually pose a figure. His hands are very pliable. So I can open it up. Now, when you are posing the figures, sometimes it's easier to take maybe the backpack off, the hat off, different things like that, and then you plug it on. And you can see I'm pretty much making the exact same pose that we're looking at over here. Now, this backpack here, I can already tell you I'm having issues with it. The stem isn't long enough. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. The, the see, you see how he like forces this to bend? That's why I have, if I remember correctly, this is the reason why I have this the way it is. It's even bending here. This is a huge problem when you're doing pictures or just displaying and you don't want it to look like that. But now I'm looking at this jungle loadout thinking, wow, this would really go nice with <laughs> an actual condo. But here we are. As I'm trying to pose it, I do hate the fact that this thing is popping off so easily. I don't like I don't like the green on, on the hat. I ain't gonna lie. That actually kind of looks better. And I have an extra one, don't I? I actually kind of like that color better on them. It just it pops a little bit better. Look at that. Anyway, there you are. That is your Rakondo. He is much like the Tiger Force. As a matter of fact, he is exactly like the Tiger Force, except he comes in a box. And he doesn't have stupid tiger stripes on him.
<laughs> Actually, I kind of like that. That's it. Let's wrap it up. All right, so my final first thought on this Rokondo is he's the same. He just now has the modern colors. They didn't give him the laser rifle that came with a lot of the other figures from the Sunbow commercial or from Sunbow. I do wish the hat was more olive, uh, olive green. But other than that, and the backpack constantly falling off, the, the soft weapon, which has been an issue, I like him. But yeah, just he's there. He's, you know, he's a figure that you might have to have if you love him. And I really did like Rakondo, but I just wish the, the hat was a little bit, like I said, more olive. The backpack stayed on and the weapons were stiffer. But that's, uh, that's a whole other case for Hasbro in general. So, but hey, if you like him, if you want him, there he is. Go grab him. I don't think you're going to be too disappointed because you know what you're getting. All right, so that's my review of the Retro Recano. Again, you know what you're going to get if you've already seen the other one. But hey, if you've just been waiting and you're like, that's the one I want. I love that figure. I don't think you're going to be that disappointed. There's always going to be some things that are a little bit different. And if you're not looking at the O-ring, you may not even catch it. That's the biggest thing. I have the O-ring so I can compare them. But anyway, I'm going to get out of here. I've kept you guys long enough. Thank you for watching. Anyway, um, before I go, Instagram, a punk with toys. I got two of them. Follow them both. But the one that just has a punk with toys, that is my main one. The other one I'm going to throw other pictures on and different things like that. The Facebook group page, Punks with Toys, because once you join, you're a punk with toys. The community is growing. And listen, it's no drama. It's just toys, some memes, fun stuff like that. Last but not least, if you like this content that I'm giving you, you've been here this long, you know the G.I. Joe stuff that I give you. You know the Gridiron stuff that I give you. I don't really give you Mo2 anymore. I will give you Monster Force when it comes out. Arsenal Pew Pew just sent me some stuff. I'll be doing a review on that really shortly. Take a second, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell notification, and I don't know what I'm pointing at. There's nothing here. I don't even put any like tags in there or anything. But I'm going to get out of here. But listen, don't go anywhere. Right up here is the Retro Duke. Here's the G.I. Joe Classified. And the camera got wobbly because of Roman. Take care.